Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. It is 8.49 a.m. and running around on my leg, I've got a hamster, a little saber, slash cream with her predator eyes. Ooh, she's so scary. She'll kill you in your sleep or, or she wouldn't do anything like that. She's just a hamster, but she's got a goofy face and she's an absolute cutie and I love her a lot. But of course, I just want to show her off. And the rosemary trick worked. I mean, I haven't seen any fleas on her for quite some time now. Here we go, little one. There you go. I'm going to pull this back so that you can get dark again. There we go. Yay. But I've put rosemary in. I really mega rosemary to her cage. And I've given rosemary sprigs to all the others. They're all doing good. Amelia, with her flea collar, has done amazingly well. I just couldn't speak English there for a little bit, and my sincere apologies. But she's doing quite well. You know, she doesn't have any more of the flea spots on her. She doesn't have any more issues with that. She's furry and, and sleek, and it's awesome that way. I have to go and specifically... Oh, itchy, itchy. My apologies, I have to specifically walk to Walmart or Safeway just so I can buy cat food. Because I forgot to buy cat food. <sighs> and I thought I had hamster food. I've run out of hamster food. Ah! So I gotta buy hamster food today too and put some on the Amazon wish list if you want to check that out, you know, to buy hamster food or cat food or some such stuff. I've got all sorts of weird things on the list, so if you wanted to check it out, you could. But it's just been a day, a life so far. Little Gojira down there, the way she does her cage, she has a... I've got these loops, of, not loops, they're little branches that are you know there's a branch that runs this way and they're like little road railroad ties and they're hooked together with a wire and then you can shape it with the wire and it holds that shape and so there's this wooden arch that she uses as her house and when she zips inside of there she squirfles around and then it closes off all of the entrances into her arch with the arch back up against the one wall and then the other side just open to the cage, she just squirfles the bedding around there and it's all closed off and she's just hidden away from the world. It's quite cool. She's very happy. She's a hamster and it's a good thing. And oh, my nose is itchy again. And it's probably gonna itch for the entire time that I record. It does that. I should have a walkies video today because I took the ready cam, the Sony, HDR camera out and unfortunately I forgot to charge the battery so while I got maybe 15 20 some odd minutes of recording then the battery was gone but it turned out to be okay because I left late enough that by the time my battery died and I said oh this is gonna be the last one not much longer after that it was just dark and then by when I was coming home, it was just black outside. So it died at the right time. <laughs> but I walk through all sorts of stuff just to show you what's left of the snow in downtown Shelton. So it's, it's interesting. Arg. My sincere apologies. My nose will like attract a cat hair. And then because of... Once your attention's on it, then your attention stays on it. And once your attention is on it, you have increased blood flow. Increased blood flow means things itch more. So you go like this and you spend more time on it. But because you spend more time on it, you've got more attention on it. And because there's more attention, there's more blood flow. And because there's more blood flow, you've got more itchy stuff. And so you start a cycle that just you have to say, I'm going to just ignore it and let it itch and that's the only way to break it happy days <laughs>
Oh dear. But yes, I've gone for walkies. I'm still practicing story stuff in my head to get them written down. I've come up with new ones. I've got a... I don't even know what kind of story it is. I mean, it's... It's, well, depressing and awful. So, thumbs up for that. But it's a... Kind of a horror story, but it's a, a gross-out horror story as well. I mean, in the, the very beginning, it's like the guy's name is like Lyle Goddard, let's say. You know, he's a scientist, and he's been doing this weird stuff. And then within moments, you know, the top of his head gets unscrewed, and every single cell and atom of his nervous system is hoovered out of his body. So, that ends poorly for him. But it doesn't end poorly for him enough because after a relatively short period of time, this stuff, just this viscous slurry just gets vomited back into his body and it squirges back in through every place where his nervous system was down to every last, every last atom and then with a flash becomes plasticized into his nervous tissue and then his rest of his body that's been just sitting there slowly going bad over hours well while his nervous system is back and running that just dissolves away all the the bad parts and then replaces it with that slurry so poor Lyle Goddard left just going, I'm going to do these things! To which the question becomes, who are you? The previous occupant of your body died when I sucked his brain out of his head. Who are you? So it's, it's going to be an interesting thing when I finish getting it written. Problem is, of course, it takes energy to write. Remember, your brain takes, oh God, I can't even remember the exact percentages, but it's anywhere, it's a range from like 18 to 30%. Your brain uses that much of all the energy your body takes in just to run. So if you're thinking, you can use up half of your body's energy and more. You can exhaust yourself from thinking. And it's true. That's why you get exhausted when you're thinking hard. Your brain is sucking up all that energy. I mean, it's just sugars, glucose, and all that. But when it's, eat, when it's eating up all of the nutrients, that's less nutrients for the rest of the body. So when you're thinking, it's exhausting. And unfortunately, like this morning already, I took a shower. I got up, I woke up, I turned on my alarm and woke up at about 20 to 7 and it's 8 57 now and i am exhausted i mean i'm i don't have any spoons left right now if i had to walk to walmart right now i'd have to say you're gonna have to punish me in any way you you feel fit because i can't tonight hopefully i'll have built up enough spoons to be able to do that since kitty needs food I mean, she annoys me badly all the time when I feed her regularly. I feed her like clockwork every six hours, probably twice as much as I should be feeding her. But I feed her like clockwork. So I'll feed her and she'll eat. And then two hours later, she spends the next four hours annoying me because she's dying of starvation. Why aren't I feeding her? I mean, if, when she wants pets and she sits in my lap, she will let me move my chair around as long as I hold on to her so she doesn't go falling. She doesn't mind. She will and then settle back down as soon as I'm finished moving my chair around. Or I can do things and she's, when she's happy, she's fine with that. When she's in my lap because she wants me to feed her, all I have to do is move like this and she's down and over there at the bowl. She's not in my lap because she wants pets. She's not in my lap because she wants to be happy. She's not in my lap to make me happy. She's in my lap because damn it, why aren't I feeding her? And yes, that gets really old 
after four hours of that. So, yeah, I gotta go get her cat food because it's been oh, about an hour and she's already, just before recording started, began the, hey, I need more, I'm dying. So, yay. And yeah, I gotta feed my hamatrons. I am really surprised at the fact that I could not find that hamster food. I do not remember using up this one last bag. But I can't find it anywhere. I mean, I even made a special clean up to find the hamster food thing and looked in my closets and there's no hamster food. So I have no idea what happened. But then considering with my memory, really, I could have used it all up legit. And then just right now I'm, huh. So yay on that. I've got all sorts of ideas and projects in mind for things to do for the channel because I, I'm i always worried, especially with Machinima right, Machinima right now, but I'll come back to that. I'm always worried about my channel because I want it to grow. I want it to keep growing and I need it to make money because I don't want to be homeless and right now the government is taking enough out of my paycheck disability that I have like a good hundred and some odd less than I need to pay my rent. So thank you each and every one of my patreon.com patrons. You are literal lifesavers. Now the machinima thing is the problem is I signed a contract with machinima, three year contract, February 16th, 2016. February 16th, 2017, February 16th, 2018, February 16th, 2019. It's been three years. My channel's still everything monetized and I can still sign into the Machinima console thing. They're still taking the money that YouTube is sending them. I sure hope they're going to be dispersing that back out to me. I don't know who to talk to about this whole thing. Yay? So, that's fun. I've got to figure out what to do with that because I'm not going to sign up with another MCN. I'm just going to do it myself as a free agent. And I mean, I've never gotten any help from anyone else in Machinima or Freedom before that when I was in with them. I've never gotten anything except for the use of the royalty free music. And even at that, I'm still always fighting like ad rev for a third party. I mean, they've claimed a bunch of stuff that I'm disputing now, having to go, look, just because Machinima got bought out doesn't invalidate their past contracts with all these various places. I have the license for this. So, yay. But life is life. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm trying to do what I can do. Because as stated, I'm trying to do things for the channel to keep it growing because I, I need to, to keep it growing. And that's a good thing. I was thinking too, uh, because of videos that I get paid for versus videos that I don't, people keep saying, you know, do all sorts of these uh, these new great reaction videos. The problem is they don't, I don't get paid for the reaction videos. And I can get, I've gotten videos that have like 25, 30,000 views. I don't get anything from that. And it's not translating into views on other videos. So, I mean, I'll keep doing reactions because I like doing reactions. It's just that reactions aren't paying the bills, so to speak. And I can either spend a lot of time and energy making videos that I'll never get a penny for or I can try and figure out how to make videos that I can get paid for. So yeah, the reactions are popular and I like doing them, but I am, every time I make one, I'm literally just throwing my own money into the street. Thumbs up. And I still want to have an idea. I got an idea is I need to find artists. I don't know how to put out a thing because every time I put out a, you know, like, hey, people, you reply to this on my like, Twitter, I get no responses ever. So 
I don't know how to ask for people. I want people to, like, uh, they get paid for it, but I make my doodle drawings and I want people to do their interpretations and their art style of that so that it would comes out looking really cool and then we can make like a series of posters and sell them. But I don't know how to get hold of artists. Like I say, advertising on Twitter. It's like I'll say, hey, if you've got questions, just ask me on this, you know, ask NSC and nothing ever. So I don't know what to do. But I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. It is a range of 20 to 25, because even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand, with my fibro, depression, brain damage from alcoholism, and more, alcoholism and more, I lose track of what I'm doing. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at pronouncing names. And of course, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. I'm just thanking you for having left me a comment. A good comment, a bad comment, and a different comment. The fact is you left me a comment. Thank you so very much. So, let me call my Chrome. We have Ice Damon, greatly appreciate. Captain Chaos, thumbs up and thank you. Twinamy13, thank you very, very much. Jonah Universe, thumbs up and thank you. Big Papa, thank you. El Crusto666, thank you very, very much. Daniel Ernst, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciate. And here's hoping that surgery goes well. The Man Games, thumbs up and thank you. Oh, well, very cool. That's a good game that you went and got. And Newspaper, greatly appreciated. Evan Alexander, thumbs up and thank you. Mama Chell, always a good thing to see. Was this helpful? Sure, thank you. Salvador Garcia, greatly appreciated. Sebastian Ferris, thumbs up and thank you. Ruben, thumbs up. And Cody Fanning, greatly appreciated. Travis James, thumbs up. Cherry TV, thank you very, very much. Walking Thieves, greatly appreciated. Michael, thumbs up and thank you. Lil Syrup, greatly appreciated. Sleeping Skeleton, ooh, heck of a name. Russian Timing, thumbs up and thank you. And last but not least, Pandora NYC1. Thank you all so very much. Oh, my arm is so tired. <laughs> Holding it up in the air after showering. It takes me an hour to take a shower. Once I step into the shower stall and start the process, by the time I'm done, it is an hour. Oh my gosh, it is so tiring. But life is life. You gotta do what you gotta do. And of course, and of course. Ah, yes, and of course. If you can check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com, a blog that I haven't written on yet, but I'm gonna be writing all those stories on it soon, soon, soon. Promise, thank you, Brian Glenn, for having made up that whole thing on whichever place it is, but thank you, it is appreciated. And of course, if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very, very cool, greatly appreciated, very awesome, like one of these beautiful and awesome people. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get for my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. <coughs> and of course, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not want to, but if you are down with it, yeah, I will do my very best. Oh, blah, blah. I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. I don't edit that stuff out either. I leave in all the warts, unclipped hairs and moles in all my videos so you can see it all. Thumbs up. Yes, I am wearing pants. It's a running internet joke. I don't know why. I, do. I, it's dumb. But anyway, thumbs up and thank you. <laughs> oh, good golly, Miss Molly. I have was going to actually say something and then I made that dumb joke and had to explain it and then now I've lost track of what I was going to say. I think I was going to say if you could check out HumbleBundle.com they are very good playing. Uh, playing? I am partnered with them. I've been paid twice so if uh, you know that's awesome because when you buy something using the link down below I actually get paid for it. A very tiny bit but uh, it's kind of cool. So if you could, it'd be awesome. They have development software, game software, e-software, e-software, e-books, e-comic books, development, Android software, iOS software. So give it a check out. It's very cool. Thumbs up and thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciate it. Don't feel obligated. I don't feel entitled, but thank you. 
So hopefully I'm gonna have a reaction video today. Hopefully a game video. Uh, oh, definitely a game video most likely. So we shall see. But you take care and I will see you on the flip side, my friend. <laughs>